Hey guys, welcome to the Creative Environment. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a layout card effect on Hover without the use of any line of CSS code or additional plugin. And it works on all devices. That is, it is responsive to tablets and mobile devices. And also, you can achieve this effect with the Elementor Pro plugin and also the Elementor free version plugin. So at the end of this tutorial, this is what we're going to achieve. So when you hover, you can see the layered effect at the back. You can see it here. You can see, and also this button is clickable. You can edit this, tweak it, change the images to whatever you want to have your beautiful design. So without further delay, let's dive in and get started. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here. Let's click on this and let's add a structure. So we're going to select this structure here and then we'll come over to the content. We set the width to full width. And for the width here, we're just going to leave it the way it is. And then we'll come over to the minimal height and then give it change the unit from pixel to vh and then give it a value of 100 okay now let's come over here and justify content to the center and align all items to the center there head over to the style option now for the background type we're going to select classic and then give it a background color of black so we'll now have something that looks like this so what we're going to do next is we're just going to come over here click on this and then we'll drag a container and drop it here now for this container here we're going to set the content width to full width and then for the width we're going to change the uniform pixel to from percentage to pixel and then give it a value of 300 and then for the minimal height to we'll give the minimal height a value of 400 so we'll have something that looks like that okay so we'll now head to the style option and before we go that what we're going to do is we're just going to come here rename this card here to uh to this container to card one and then for this container here we're going to call it parent okay now for the card one we're going to come here and then under the background type, we're going to set select uh, classic and give it the background color of white. Okay. And then we'll come down here to the border, give it a border radius of 20 pixel. And then we'll go to the box shadow and we're just going to set the box shadow for the color. We're going to drag this up so we'll have something whitish um, block box shadow. Okay. So now we'll come here. This is what we'll get. You might not be seeing the blur, the box shadow yet, but not to worry everything is going to make sense for the end of the video okay so now that we've done this what we're going to do next is we're just going to come over here and we're going to drag another container and drop it right within this card one container now for this container here we're going to call this container one okay and then we'll come over here for this container we're going to change the content width to full width and then for the width we're going to change the unit to pixel and then give it the same value as the value we give the card one for the width and for the minimum height that is 300 pixel width and then 400 pixel height okay now we'll go to this tile option and then for the background type we select classic and then for the color we're going to change the color to white as well okay and then we'll come down to the border and we're going to give it a border radius of 20 pixel just like what we did for card one and then for the box shadow we're going to come over here set the color to same color as what we did for the card one basically we're just going to replicate what we did in card one on the container called one okay so now as you can see our box shadow is coming in now okay so what we're going to do next is right within this same container here we're going to add another container in it and then we just click on this plus here and we'll drag this container and drop this container here now for this container we're going to call this container two okay now for this container, we'll come here, change the content width to full width for the unit. We'll give it, change it to pixel and then give it a value same as all the values we've been using from card one to one. And then this two is going to have the same value as there. So we're going to set the width to 300 and for the minimum, I set it to 400. Okay. And then we'll come here, justify content to the center, align items to the center. And we'll go to the style option. Now for the style option, what we're going to do here is now we're going to come here now this is where we're going to add our image instead of our of making use of the white color just like the one we did for card one and one container one now we're just going to come here add an image so we can select any image we want so i'm just going to come here and then i'm going to select this image here uh, okay now you cannot see the image well so to, we're going to come here and for the position of the image we're going to set it to center center and then for the repeat, we're going to set it to no repeat. For the display size, we're going to set it to cover. Okay. So now 
what we're going to do, we're going to come down here to the border and then give the container the border radius of 20 pixel also. Okay. And then we're going to come here for the box shadow, do the same. White. And then we'll come here. This is what we now have. So you can see, but when you hover on this, nothing happens. Okay. So now before we proceed, what we're going to do is we're just going to come here and let's add some items to our container. Let's add some items to our container. All right. So let's come over here to our card. Let's add um, a heading. Now, before we do that, let's come over to this container too. And then let's go to the advanced settings and let's give it a padding of 20 pixel all round. Okay. And now for this container, this text heading text here we're just going to come here and let's rename it to card card one let's call it card one and then let's go to the style options align it to the center change the color to white okay and then let's come here and let's drag the text widgets here right below the card one and then let's go to the style option align it to the center change the color to white as well and then finally we're going to drag a button right below the text widget and then we'll come down here for the button we can just give it a button background type color to like somewhat red like that and then we now have a basic card do the content may not be very clear so to do that fix that we just come over to this container here the container tool that is housing this content here and then we'll go to the style option come down to the background overlay and we're just going to add a classic background overlay type and then give it a color set the color to black so we now have something that looks like this okay so now here is when we're going to add our layered fit without the use of any line of css code. so to achieve this what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here now for the card one this container here called card one we're going to go to the advanced settings and what we're going to do is we'll come down here to transform now under the transform we'll go to the hover and for the hover, we're going to select the rotate and then we're going to set the rotate degree. We're going to give it a value of 5. Okay. Now we're going to come over to this container called 1. And then we're going to go to the advanced settings. Come down here to the transform. Under the hover, we'll go to the rotate as well. And then we're going to give it a value of negative 10. Negative 10, like that. Okay. And then we'll come over here to this container 2. Now for this container tool, what we're going to do is we're going to come here to the advanced settings under the layer. We'll come down to the transform on for the hover. We're going to come here under the rotate. We're going to give it a value of five. So now when you come over here and you hover, this is where you get our effect has now been added. If successfully without single line of CSS, could be able to build a simple and basic card with layered effects like this on hover. Okay, so now we can come over here, close this, close this, and then for this card one here, let's close this as well. And then we can just come here, duplicate this, duplicate this again, and then we can call this, uh, rename this to card two, rename this to card three. Okay, now for card, now what we're going to do is we'll head to the parent container, go to the layout. And then we're going to come here and then change the gap to 40. Okay. So now we now have something that looks like this. Okay. So um, in order to change this image here and use different image, first of all, let's come here. Let's change this to card two. And then let's give this card three. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. If we want to change the background image for um, card two, we just come here to the second container here. We now go to the style option and then we'll select an uh, image. Now I'm just gonna select this image here. This image here, I can just select this image here. Okay, and then for card three, you can do the same here. Come down here to this second container here, go to the style option and then select another image for it. And I can just select this image here as well. Okay. All right, so now that we've done this, we can check if our containers are responsive. Obviously, they are responsive, but we're going to need some fuel tweaking to get it right. Okay, now let's check for the tablet. Now you can see they are overlapping each other. Now to fix this, go to the parent container. 
now come down here come down here and then for the wrap you're just gonna set it to wrap and you now have something that looks like this and they will go to the advanced settings and we're gonna give it a padding of uh, 100 100 and then let's unlink this to the left let's set it to zero to the right let's set it to zero so there's a space at the top you can see our effect is still taking effect here it's still showing here okay and then for the mobile you come to the mobile this is what you're gonna do you just still here you're gonna come here and then you're just gonna unlink this to the top we're gonna give it a value of 100 to the bottom 100 and then to the right we're gonna give it a value of 40 to the left 40 and then we're just gonna come here and see how our effects is working very well so we've come to the end of this tutorial as you can see we achieved this effect and it's working on all devices without any single line of css code or the use of any additional plugin so if you if you've learned something new from this please remember to give this a thumbs up and if you're new to our channel please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified first when i drop a new video and also if you have any question or suggestion feel free to drop it on the comment section and i will attend to them but until then see you on our next video Bye bye